So this one's been damaged, but to show you how to pull the lever up to unlock the pins, I'll use it on the smaller one. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a bar here, and there's a flap there and a flap there. You can take either a little pick or a drill screwdriver here, and just carefully pry the flaps out, and there's like a little locking hook, so you can pry it up like that. And grab it on this other side here pop it up. This one, they come out completely. On this, they'll pop up, but it won't come out completely. It'll just pull a little bit out like that. But that has to be up to unlock the pins and let them out. And you can see I damaged these because I was getting them out and I'm not reusing the connector. But a little lever right there. A lever right there. Just lift it up a little bit and the pin slides out. When you look on the back side of the pin, you see there's a little, a little area right here that kind of sticks out. That corresponds, go focus, there, come on, there we go, that little tab right there. So if you get it in backwards, I'm going to stick it in backwards purposely here to show you. Stick it in backwards, it'll go in so far, and that's all it'll go in. But if you flip it around the right way, where it slides in, it'll go in all the way. If you get it in straight, there we go, it slides in all the way, and it'll go in until there's nothing shown, like that, and then it should click in place when that bar goes down. And then you want the bar up, there should be the little locking thing on the end here that prevents it from coming out fully so you, you have to raise the bar up and undo the tab here i'm just like i said this is damaged so because i just get them out on this one this connector ah, this connector i just used to scavenge for parts there and once it's out like that it'll pop out and that's it so there's to it